this man runs the show. His name is Matt McGinnis. And I just want to look through the magic of television. He's actually got me up on, what would this be? Is this a professional um, term? That, or? You would be on sort of an apple box okay. right there. <laughs> What's totally humiliating is you all saw my uh, set shoes. Those are nice Scotia. shoes. What are you talking about? They look like I've been clamming in them. Look so, at what I'm wearing. Uh, Let's not talk footwear. But when we're uh, traipsing around in the woods of Nova Scotia, these are not bad. I of course, hear the dirty little secret is I wear them all the time at home in Los Angeles as well. They're but, comfy. Yeah, they are. Okay, yeah. for everybody playing the home game, what is a showrunner? A showrunner is uh, it's pretty self-descriptive. Uh, we run the show. We <laughs> Largely, we're writers. Um, we create the stories. We cr everything from the small story, you know, the the case of the week and and what happens, uh, but also the big, long, season-long arc and the series-long arc and all the mythology, who the people are, where they came from. So, in that sense, we run the show. Um, we sort of we have our fingers in all the different um, pots of wardrobe casting locations and all that stuff but we have a team of very capable professionals who you know we we like to let them do their job and do that stuff um, but we weigh in when necessary cool okay now you've been here for all four seasons yes. and we know um jim and sam have created this story yes. so what i want to know is you're going into season four do they sit everybody down as writers and say, okay, here's what's going to happen. Who wants this episode? Who wants, how does it happen that you're writing the finale? Like, how did that shake down? Well, first of all, I would like to say this is not the finale of the series. This is just the finale of, of the season. season. And, and Let's uh, be clear about that. Of course. Um, Are you kidding? Uh, we do it by hook and by crook. I've known Sam and Jim for a long time. I knew them. We worked together on the Dead Zone. Yeah. And, you know, the mythology is, has been there, is there. It's... It evolves in a way that mythology evolves a little bit too. I'm not going to tell you that it's completely different, and I'm not going to tell you that it's exactly the same. It's somewhere between the two. Okay. And we are always, we always have our eye on how the show ends. We know why Audrey Parker is here. We know the big things. We know why Audrey is here. We know the significance of Vincent Dave. Um, we know her relationship to Nathan. But we have these big sort of signposts for that stuff. Okay. Um, in terms of the, the smaller episodes and the smaller stories, we just come up with those in the room. We sit around and we think we're always trying to come up with, with, with the troubles of the week and stories that allow us to tell a really interesting trouble of the week story, but also allow us to dig into the character, dig into our own characters, right. you know. So you want to find a trouble that allows you to tell a good story, but also allows you to illuminate a little bit more. A little about, bit more about Audrey yeah. or Nathan or Duke or Vince or Dave or Dwight oh. or whoever. Okay, so but what I want to know is because you you co-wrote this with Gabby, right? This, that is correct. Okay, so did you go? We've got the best idea for the season four finale. Like, how did you get this gig today? Because this has got to be a powerhouse script. How I, I'm I'm not sure I understand the question. Well, I want to know like if you're sitting around, you know what has to happen, right? But who gets to who decides who writes which episode? We do. Gab Gabrielle Stanton and I decide who writes what episode. Okay. And ultimately, Gabrielle Stanton and I decide what the episode's going to be about. Okay. That's that's the biggest job of the showrunner. Okay. The biggest job of the showrunner is the scripts. Every script ultimately has our stamp on it. Okay. We usually will take a pass on scripts. Television writing is a very, very collaborative thing. It right. really is. The, we see the tweets from the writing room. Yeah, staffs, writing staffs are, we have a great writing staff. Yeah. I've been on 10 shows. This is probably my favorite staff. We get along very, very well. It's the only staff. You have to, though, don't you? It's the, only, it's the only staff I have ever been on where when the day ends at, you know, 7 o'clock or whatever, normally everyone takes off. I can't get people to go home. Okay. Uh, don't tell their wives you can't put this on the air but <laughs> or husbands but at seven o'clock we're done and I leave and they're all still hanging out at work I don't understand that but uh, uh, so we all work together but ultimately it's up to Gabrielle and I to decide who's gonna write what and what it's going to be about um, so the buck stops with us yes, there I'm gonna salute you and thank you you're welcome you get you're back welcome. to your gig you're welcome thank you thank you <laughs>